Hi, my name is Sean Paul and welcome to my videos about the world of data. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to land your first data analyst role. Okay, now a lot of the time this, this is uh, applicable to grads, but sometimes it is applicable to people who are sort of switching careers. Um, so, you know, hopefully this advice will help both sets of people. Now, the first thing to do, or first thing that I think you should do to maximize your chances of uh, getting an interview is to um, apply for companies that have a, si a, a sizable data analytics team. And what I mean by sizable is only five or six or, or a bit, bit more, but you know, five to six analysts in their team. Now teams that size generally usually have junior uh, uh, roles or, or they have a requirement for a junior role. Okay, uh, the reason I recommend that size team, I mean up to 10, but you know, five to six would be uh, an ideal number, but up to 10 is good. Um, the reason I recommend that size company compared to one that's already got hundreds or in, in the tens anyway, um, is because what happens is that as these teams grow, they're more willing to give junior people um, a chance, okay? So they, they'll come up with things that they need doing that a junior person can do, and they're more likely to give a junior person a chance. With larger companies, what I normally find that those junior roles have been crafted for a particular purpose, okay? And so they're looking for a very discreet person, someone who fits that criteria that they can uh, bring in and um, just Get, get you know start running so if you have those exact criteria that they want brilliant apply for these large companies and they, they will just slot you into their uh, system and away you go you know you, you you'll be uh, uh, good with them but uh, if you don't if, if you don't fit neatly into that then your best chances are applying for companies like i said with five or six analysts um so what they will happen is that they will um uh, you know, it's like I said, have requirements for a junior role. Now, the second thing is don't wait for a job to be advertised in these companies. Identify these companies and proactively send them your CV and a cover letter or a cover email. Now, in that cover letter or cover email, there are three things that I would recommend that you do. One is research the team, okay? See what skills and experience they have, uh, what, you know, um, what tools they use, um, and see if you can um, reflect that in your skill set. So if you've applied, if you've looked at a company and they're using things that you've never used or they're all from a background that you're not from, then probably not best because they'll, they just will look at that CV and go, look, it's not going to match the existing team. Our team is sizable, but still small. It's not going to work. Okay. Um, so you need to make sure that you, you know, you have similar background in terms of education or skills or knowledge or something similar and um, that, that you feel you can talk about. The second thing is research what the company uses at all. Um, so what they use for their reporting, what they use for their analysis, um, what they're using for data storage, um, and, and see if you can, um, uh, you know, uh, research about that and, and have an opinion. So when you're writing in that CV, you know, even things like saying I'm on a Coursera course or a Udemy course or a data bootcamp, learning this um, tool, um, that's a good start. I mean, you'll find that most data analytics role will require some kind of SQL and Excel. So you need to be able to demonstrate that you're good at that and give an example of where you've used it and, and how, how good you are at using that. Um, and then the final thing is find out about what the business does okay and how it makes money okay because then you need then you can understand how the, the data team or the data analytics team fits in that into that um, ecosystem so if a company makes money what's the role of the data team in helping them make money whether it's better decision making uh, whether it's uh, providing analytics to um, help marketing to help product to help pricing whoever it is find out what the analytics team does and how that leads to the business then making money okay and if you could put that into the cover letter what it would do is it will show an employer uh, that, 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 that you've done a bit of research and you're not just like sending loads of CVs to loads of company you've sort of selected my company and you've applied uh, to me so two things happen when you send those prospective CVs one is I don't have a role um, but if the CV and if the CV and the cover letter is really good I'll lodge you in the back of my mind and if, if when I come across a role um, because like I said when you get to five six people there will be a requirement for a junior role then I'll think of you and, and probably reach out the second thing that will happen is that um, I may be thinking about a role okay um, and you've just sent a CV and the timing's brilliant and what I'll do is I'll think to myself well just received this CV it looks really good I'm going to finish off the job description and then I'll send it to you um, and hopefully um, you know you're one of the first few that applies uh, for that role and then obviously if you get the interview just make sure you've, you've brushed up on uh, like I said you know what the data team does what tools they use and what, what the company does or how the company makes money um, and how data t the data team and or data um, plays a role in the company making money um, so that so that's really that now 
if you've tried all of that and you're, and you're finding it still difficult to get get a data um, an entry level data analyst role, my other recommendations are that try and look for adjacent roles. So you may not find a perfect role, you may not find the data analyst role, but you might find like a campaign reporting role, or you might find a financial reporting role. These roles will typically have some kind of analysis in them, okay? And if you're into the company and you've got an interest in doing data analytics, then you can show that capability once you're into the company. Okay, so try and look for adjacent roles where there's an element of data analytics, analytics um, which will then help you get into that company. The other thing is obviously um, offer to do internships or work experience, okay, with those companies or similar companies. So you can build up in your CV sort of, uh, of you know, experience, work experience that you, or career experience that you can show the company that you're applying to that, that you have this experience um, and, and you'd like to, you know, um, work for them because you, you've done these things in the past. So those are the two things that will help you or help you um, increase increase your chances. Um, a lot of people say to me, "Well, what if I just do projects and and and, and I can show that um, you know I, I can do X, Y, Z?" They're great if you know, especially if, um, if you can do them. But as an employer, I, I find that they're very abstract. So when you say you run this model or you've done this project or this data analysis, it's a bit abstract. Okay, so if you're going to do a project, then make sure it's related to my industry. Um, and secondly, I'd like to know what the outcome of it was. So just saying you ran this analysis. It's not really useful. You need to be able to say um, what, what, what was its value, you know, or what could its value be, um, and and that that will typically then you know interest me, and, and I'll want to uh, probably talk to you further about it. Um, so good luck with your job hunt if you are looking in twenty twenty one for a new role as a data analyst or entry level job as a data analyst, um, and I hope the advice that I've given you um, will help in some way. Thank you. Um, Please do like my video, comment below, and if you have any questions, also write those questions below and I'll try and answer them in the comment section or in further videos. And please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.